Now, is Intel Capital big? Yes, it is big. It is the biggest venture capital investor in the world, and this is both counting classical VCs and corporate VCs. First of all, we call it ecosystem building. So we want to make sure that around the process of Intel, around the computer, around mobile phones, smartphones, tablets, ultrabooks, notebooks, there are interesting new applications evolving. And we say it's a lifeblood of Intel. Only if there are always new applications coming out can Intel prove that it has the best processors available. So my job is it to find these new cool ideas, technologies, trends, and bring them as an eyes and ears into Intel and make Intel aware of these new technologies, make sure we can react to it. Well, let me take a controversial view. Um, so, just you know, to give some spice to the discussion, do we really know where the innovation will come from, say, over the next year, next two years? As an investor, it's quite interesting to look back. Everything looks pretty obvious, right? I mean, you could have predicted that Facebook will be big, successful. You could have predicted that Google will be large and successful. You could have predicted other success stories. But let's be honest. Um, Take Facebook. There's this famous email from Mark Zuckerberg to his partner. Let's sell this stuff for 10 million. Then we can focus on our real business. That's the way he himself saw Facebook. He did not see the opportunity. He himself, of course, analysts, investors, other smart people did not see it, right? Now, let's look at Apple. You might say, well, but in Apple it was pretty obvious. Was it really? I looked up the reports after Steve Jobs had told the public he would launch a phone. And I think we all clear that the iPhone is probably the most successful entrepreneurial story of the last 10 years. I found no single report saying he has a chance to succeed after he announced it publicly. J.P. Morgan, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, Jeffries, you can go through the whole list, you can go through the uh, market analysts, you can go through investors, nobody gave him a chance. The argument was, no clue about mobile, he's a computer guy. No clue about <coughs> communications, no clue about the form factor, on and on and on, right? So how good are we in predicting innovation? I can give you other examples, Google, even after the IPOs, you look at the prospects of Google IPO, nobody understood how they would make money. Even after the IPO, you have to think about it. Huge company, but the monetization was not clear. And you can go on and on. Now, last year I was sitting in panels discussing, so what will be the next big thing? Just 12 months ago, the next big thing everybody thought was clean tech. Combination clean tech IT, right? Now we look back, is it clean tech? Not really. We don't see that traction coming on. And so now we are sitting here and thinking about innovation. Frankly, I think we all will be surprised. Next year, seeing the success stories, I think all of us will be very much surprised. And it will come from an angle where we have not expected it. And that's, by the way, the reason Intel Capital does investments. I'm told my job is, I have eyes and ears for Intel. I have to make investments. The only way to learn about what's going on is really actually to get involved, make investments, and then learn from those people that interact with customers where the dynamic comes from. 